Hi there everyone. For today's raw therapy tutorial, I'm going to cover producing what I think of as a fine art black and white photograph. I got my start in photography shooting film, and at that time I was a predominantly black and white shooter. I developed my own roles and printed my own prints. As I made the transition to digital, I spent a lot of time trying to be able to replicate what I could do in the traditional darkroom digitally. It isn't always easy, but it is possible. Raw therapy makes the process really, really simple with some powerful black and white tools. So here we have an image of a flower that I shot in a personal garden. Very simple. It was direct lighting. And let's go ahead and start the processing. The first thing I'm going to do is activate the before and after view for raw therapy, and I'm going to lock in the before view so that as I make my changes, you'll be able to see just what a difference we're making from the original image. Now, in the exposure tab, I'm going to do my usual changes. I'm going to begin by affecting tone curve one and tone curve two. I'm going to change tone curve one to saturation and value blending and the curve to custom. Now what I'm going to do is make a slight S curve just like that which is going to increase our contrast but also increase the lightness of the image just a bit. You'll notice I didn't do any changes to exposure compensation mostly because my personal feeling is that it isn't necessary if you have the correct exposure even with a raw file. Now I'm going to come down to tone curve 2 and I'm going to change that to film like and also do a custom curve. Now the custom curve here is also going to be an S curve but one change I'm going to make is that on the endpoints of this S curve I'm going to alter those as well. On the right hand side which affects the highlights I'm going to bring the endpoint of that tone curve down a little bit. And on the left side of that tone curve which affects the shadows, I'm going to lift that up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and switch to my monochrome. I'm going to go to the color tab in Raw Therapy. I'm going to go down to black and white. Now you'll notice that Raw Therapy has several different methods for creating a monochrome image. There is a desaturation, luminance equalizer, and channel mixer. All three have their strengths. Personally, I like the channel mixer because I find that it's the most versatile of the three methods. I'm going to enable it, and then I'm going to come down to the color filter. Now, in shooting black and white film, color filters were able to allow you to change the color tones of the images without doing it in the darkroom. There were a number of filters that were specifically used for black and white, and Raw Therapy replicates them here. You'll notice that there is a red filter, which will dramatically darken blues such as the sky. There is the yellow-red filter, which is a balance between the yellow and red filters, and then a yellow filter, which will darken blues not as quite as much as the reds, and will lighten greens, yellow, oranges, and reds. There is also a green filter, which will lighten green areas such as foliage, which allows you to make a little more separation if you're doing landscapes. There's also a green-yellow, which would be a balance between the green and yellow filters. And there's also a blue filter. A blue filter wasn't often used in black and white photography, and it's a bit of the opposite of the yellow filter. It will lighten blues and will darken yellows, oranges, and reds and then there's a blue-green filter as a balance between the two. The purple filter you'll notice down there tends to act a bit like the red filter. Now for our purposes and the image that I'm trying to create I'm going to select the blue-green filter. Now you'll see that it's done a lot of darkening but the tones are really nice and separated. Now I'm also going to come down to the before curve 
here that we'll see next to it has a black and white standard. I'm going to change that to black and white film like. And I'm going to once again make a custom curve. Now with this curve, I'm going to do the same thing I did on the film like curve on the exposure tab. I'm going to bring down the right end of that curve and bring up the left end. You notice as I bring up that left end for the shadows, it gives me sort of that faded film effect. It's going to keep my blacks from being true blacks, but also my highlights aren't going to be true highlights. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make that S curve. Now, I, this is exactly the sort of image that I was going for in that it has that sort of faded film effect, which a lot of people associate with fine art images. Now I can adjust that simply by moving the bottom end of that curve where it affects the shadows and highlights just as much as I want to lessen or increase the effect. I don't want it to go overboard, so about right there is good. Now I can tweak that further by affecting things in my exposure tab, like the black level, and those two original tone curves that I made. For this image, I think the only thing I want to add is a slight vignette. And by slight, I mean very slight. So I'm going to change that vignette down to about 40. And I'm going to feather it just a bit more. Now you can see we've made a major difference from the image we started with and the image we wound up with. None of my highlights are blown and of course none of the shadows are blocky. So let's go ahead and take a look at that image full size. Now the only thing left to do would be a little sharpening, if that's what you wanted to do. And then to export the image and do whatever tweaking you might want to do in GIMP or Photoshop. This was another really quick tutorial. I hope it's useful for you in some way. If nothing else, I hope that this video can act as a starting point for your own experimentation and that you can develop your own style. I'll be back again soon with another Raw Therapy tutorial. Bye for now.